We had a breakthrough in matter conversion. We can now build orbital batteries, upgrade our outposts, and build light cruisers. Oh, cool. This so, is the business. So we can now actually buy a light cruiser. We can build the, the first Enterprise. Can uh, we buy one? This guy. Bam. How much does it going to cost us? Um, I don't know. We've got... I'm going to get this production out of the queue. No, no, just buy it. Uh, which only had one turn of build on it. And we don't have oh. enough to buy it. I'm just going to ditch it. It's only one turn of production. It's and 246 industry. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, whole that's, that's how much we make every turn. Oh, right. Because um, I, want, I want cruisers. They're cool. Yeah, then we got to do a battle. Exactly. Now, I wonder if we don't need to wait for the cruiser. Because... Next turn. Oh shit, the Cardassians have betrayed us! Who'd have thought? And the Ferengi have issued a demand to us. Um, Ferengi want 800 bucks. Screw. Reject. Screw will be rejected. And um, the Cardassians are getting funny with us. They've broken their non-aggression pact. But they haven't sent a fleet in. Although, our scan strength, you can see up here... Um, it's poor. It's poor. We can only really see one square in front of us at the moment. Should we? Should we? How well defended are our our border outposts? Well, we literally have an outpost on this planet, and right. it's just been upgraded to a Mark II because of that tech increase. So it's pretty good. So they could. That's the only one they could attack, right? Yeah, that'll be the only one in range. Well, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of them. We've got good Fuck defenses. Guys. Oh, the Vulcans have sent a ship out. That's nice. Yeah, hello, Vulcans. It's. Is it? Okay, cool. I keep forgetting the Vulcans are there. They're down here. Oh, they're, actually, maybe we should start talking about bringing them into the Federation. Yeah. Because, look, they've, they've terraformed all their planets, and their population's pretty high. They've got or eight orbital batteries around their planet. Yeah. I mean, they're more developed than we are now. We do now. need to get them on board. And the Tamarians, oh, they're a bit slow. They are not, not developing their own homeworld as quickly. Yeah, it's okay. Should we talk to the Vulcans, see how they're getting on? Yeah, we should We should check in. Are we trading with them or something? Is yeah, we've got trade routes with them. So they're, they're sort of happy. Okay, cordial. So we can, get, we can give them money to make them like us more. What does membership mean? Um, that means they literally become part of our empire. Ooh. And join the Federation. Because we're already affiliated with them, uh, which means we share starport access. Right. Um, if we membership them, we literally just... They become part of us and we can choose what they build and all that kind of stuff. Wow, they just become a, a integrated into the Federation. Yeah. This gives us basically a new homeworld. How long do we need to to do that? Well, the trade route it will just slowly tick up happiness okay. over time. Um, and then things that we do will affect them as well. Um, but really, the big thing is money. Okay. So the Federation, our like, racial power... Is money. Is money. We'll like give if them some money then. Any money gifts we give to a minor race get 50% extra value. Wow. Um, because everyone wants to join the Federation. Right. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. So should we just, like, give them a thousand bucks? Yeah, give them all the money. Speed speed this business up. A gift treaty. Um, and then our fleet... What kind of gifts are we sending them? Because the money um, doesn't really exist. Anymore. No, I guess it's, like, like um, Andorian Ale or um, oh. Romulan Brandy. Like A ka kapluk. A kapluk. 3D chess, maybe what's, we've... What's, what am I thinking of? Um, 3D chess. Kapla! Ka no, I'm thinking of... Um, the worm stuff that girls always eat. Oh yeah, what is that called? Gach. Gach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. What 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 Gach. would be Earth's weird? That's what I say when I eat it. <laughs> <Blah. Gach. laughs> so let's say um What would the Earth send? What would what would Vulcans think our gross weird thing is that we think oh, it would be like is. Melt and Mowbray pork pies. <laughs> right. Parmesan. G Greg's, Greg's sausage rolls. <laughs> yeah, like, no, but it would have to be all of the things that are protected by the EU. Like, you know, the. the, 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 oh, yeah. the Maybe they think caviar is pretty gross. I mean? Or champagne or something like that. Champagne. Why would they? They would, they would drink champagne out of the fucking. I feel like champagne's out. like an acquired taste. You don't really like your first glass of champagne, do you? Do you not? I didn't. I don't know about anyone else. I don't really like it. I like it now, but. I don't. I don't try to drink it because a lot of wine has a lot of preservatives in it, a lot of sulfites. Mm. And I'm a little bit. I think I'm a little bit sensitive oh. to sulfites. I mean, my. Mm. I had a. I had a nut allergy attack at the weekend. Oh. I'm allergic to nuts. Yeah. Um, Shit, that can be really dangerous, can't it? Like, are you are you deadly allergic to nuts? No, like... not really. No. Um, only certain nuts, like peanuts and Brazil nuts, instant death. Really? Instant, yeah. Do you carry around one of those things? I just can't. Well, that, like a, that's an EpiPen. Yeah. That's just a, adrenaline. That's just EpiPen. Oh, I thought it was like, um, what's it called? Like a really strong antihistamine. Well, it kind of does function a little bit like that, but really its main role, I think, is to get you to the hospital. Oh, right. to keep you alive long enough to to die in a hospital. Yeah, I guess, or we'll, we'll, we'll get a big dose of 
of, of help. Purchase order. A big but dose of one help, please. <laughs> it's a little bit like people who are allergic to stuff, they swell up, right? So I Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm allergic to shellfish, so like when if I eat like prawns, yeah. my throat like closes up and my face swells up. Yeah. It's and really, so it can make it hard good. to breathe. Yeah. And that's what usually kills people. They get mm -hmm. suffocated by like by themselves, swelling. by their own stupid body defense mechanism. Yeah, basically. The thing that's meant to keep me alive is murdering but, but me. But obviously I used to have asthma as well, which is obviously a, a bad one for because mm. that that sort of stops you being able to breathe. And so if you get the combination of allergy attack plus asthma attack, yeah. which can tend to ha they tend to go hand in hand a bit because oh. oh shit. So I jumped into Attica uh, without knowing what was there because there was a radio pulsar blocking my sensors. Okay. Turned out there was an outpost and a fleet. Um, so our liberation force of two destroyers, a scout, and three transports has run into um, a pretty sizable defense force of three destroyers, a scout, and an outpost. I think we run away. How, how tough are the outposts? Pretty tough. Yeah, like, I would have thought they would be really tough. If the outpost was here on its own, it would be dicey with these ships here. They, I mean, their ships are better than our ships at fighting. Well, we don't have an option. We have no, to we get have out to retreat. Here. Shit, we haven't had a proper battle yet. Um, right away. See ya. Retreat. Maybe he'll hail. I think he's hailing. Oh, thank God! Because they get basically a free attack if they'd gone for us. Oh right, really? We're not at war, so they were like, uh, "Guys, what are you doing here?" And we were like, "Oh, bye! I'm going to go." <laughs> show no enemy oh, thank God they—they they could have killed like half our ships as we ran away there. And Klingons made a statement to the Federation. And we've got anti-war demonstrations. And more frequent is the defeat. Was that a defeat? Yeah, t well, there's a battle we didn't win. Um, so I haven't explained this yet, actually, but every um, system has got morale. You see here, 91 morale points oh, on Earth. Yeah. So this goes up when we do Federation-like things, and it goes down when we do non-Federation things. So if we right. lose battles, it goes down. If we bombard from space, it goes down. Okay. If we declare peace, it goes up. Um, and basically, it's a multiplier to all your stats. Oh. So we're currently producing 91% production. Oh. Um, is that because we lost just nine points off there? Well, it's probably been ticking down slowly. Um, I think we probably lost about four or five points from that. Okay. Um, we've lost some points for other things too. Well, that was unfortunate. That was really bad. So this, um, this is X-ray pulsar here. That is emitting um, anti-scanners all around. Right, so we can't see what's So I can't see what's defending it. But they obviously built an outpost there? To yeah, that, they did. That world? So we can't really attack that until we can get rid of outposts. Yeah, we need some bigger ships. Maybe we send people through the wormhole and build an outpost on that side, like we planned. Oh, we need to, um, we need to research Starbase before we can do that. Oh, how far is that? Um, oh, shit. Six. Ages. Take level six. And this will go up soon. We're, on, we're about to hit level three on everything. Okay. Once propulsion's up. And then once we get... Um, the this four... Like four in computers gets us the data room institute, or six in energy gets us the subatomic simulators. Okay. Which each one of these gives us 150 degree search. Per turn. Per turn. But requires no population to power it. Right. So let me put that into perspective. Earth on its own may currently makes 77 research. Right. With, what, uh, what five people in university. universities. So effectively, it's like having 10 universities, but without needing 10 population to man them. It's wow. a big deal. So um, do we want to rush to that? We should. Maybe we should. Um, What's the data institute? That gives us a doubles our computer research and ticks up one morale a turn on the planet it's built on. I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. It's pretty good, but, um, but computer isn't energy, which is what we need. This is this is probably the one we want to go for then. Yeah. So where's energy? It's this one here. So once we right. finish propulsion, we we'll get propulsion once up to three. Once we finish plasma injection, we can research graviton physics. Perfect. So let's see if there's a minor race who is good at researching energy, and we'll get them to join. What does that mean? So each minor race has a unique building that right. you can only get if they're part of your empire. Oh. And, and it reflects, like, what they're good at. What the Vulcans? Because they're like, the ones... The Vulcans do, do, so do a research thing. I forget exactly what it is. Um, uh, the Vulcan Science Academy, I think it just gives you a 33% bu bu uh, buff to all research. Unus. So he's enthusiastic, so is that why we can see what their bonus is? You can always see what the bonus is. Oh, uh, but well. he's enthusiastic right. because we gave him that thousand bucks right. a couple of turns ago. Um, so the uh, Uridians get have a spy center. Okay. Uh, the Tamarians, uh, I forget what it is. Um, 
it's like a cultural thing. I think it's a research okay. boost. Okay, it's weird. The Celiac have a bioengineering center, which is good for a biological research. Well, these guys aren't going to be our friends anytime soon. The Betazoids are good at um, ensuring internal security. Anti-spies. Anti-spies, because they're telepaths. That's perfect. You can tell it if you're spying. Yeah, they just go, are you a spy? I thought so. Yeah. Take him away. Um, the bandies do construction. Uh, the Anticons do uh, ground combat. Oh, God, okay. And then that's it. That's all the people we've met. Right. So I guess we just get the Vulcans in and switch them all to science. Yeah. Let's, I think we need to basically just keep... Um, let's get another light cruiser, just in case we do have to fight any wars. Yeah, we've got the light cruisers on the way. And then we'll, we'll keep... Are you sort of still working on making colonies? Keep I've slowed down, that. actually. We've got one colony ship left, and it's terraforming the Stelithian planet. Once it's finished here, which it will be really soon, we can go settle a new planet. Okay. Oh, shit. Terrorists have destroyed the shipyard on Earth. Oh, my God. The Starfleet shipyard in Sol has been completely destroyed. It probably wasn't terrorists. Right. It was probably the Cardassians. Oh, my God. How do you know? Um, terrorist means we don't know who it was. Oh. So it could be unhappy people. If, you're popul if your morale's below 100%, then your own people can terrorist you. But they don't generally do it until you're, like, 40% or, like, really low. Okay. So because we're at 90, it's super unlikely it was our own people. So what do we have to do now? Um, messages have been received. Hang on. Klingons have issued a demand. They demand 500 bucks. Um, or, or they'll be unhappy. Um, I kind of want to get them to get stuffed. Reject. Yeah, because we could defend with our outposts. We don't, we don't pay terrorists. No, we don't negotiate with assholes. So if we go to... Um, so at the moment, all of our 16 intel points are being put into internal security. Okay. And we don't want to send them out to other people. Um, Not yet. Uh, can we talk to the Cardassians and tell them to, like, watch it? Mm. Uh, I'm going to ask for some money to buy back our starport. Uh, we require compensation in order to overlook the behaviour of your people. We must insist you make... Yeah, you can change your message, but I think that's exactly what we want to say. Okay. Buy us back our starport, dickhead. Um, How do you know that they did it? Where's the evidence? Uh, they're Cardassians, Lewis. Right, it's what I they see. do. It's their, it's their bonus. They're good at espionage. All right. Um, <laughs> scum. <laughs> scum, scum, scum. It's scum, like how scum, Trump scum. is convinced that it, Russia has done stuff, you know? You just, you just know. You know, because they probably have. <laughs> How long's it going to take? Three, Three turns. turns, and we lost all the production we had in that light cruiser. Light cruiser. We need the Vulcans more than ever. It's three, we've lost so much... Turn, we lost about four turns of building the cruiser, and then three turns to rebuild the shipyard. And this is our only place we can build ships. That's a real tragedy. That, that's a blow. Turn 51. I'm going to look for our largest population world. So this one's got the largest possible population. And I'm going to max out replicators here and have it as like a backup um, factory world. Right. If we can get more replicators here, we can build ships here. Can you buy those up? It's 11 turns remaining. Um, well, we haven't got the population to man them yet. Oh, okay. So it's not. Until you see them down here, like late in the labor pool. Right. There's no rush. Okay. Um, Good. Well, so everyone's looking I'm okay. I'm learning. Um, Terraforming completed. Right. Ooh. Kind of Dassins and the Feder uh, Ferengi aren't friends anymore. Um, mm -hmm. And that's it. Our terraforming's finished. So where do we want to go next for our next colony? Um, Let's get rid of the uh, build task overlay. That makes it hard to see. So we've got this place, which is a bit of a shithole. Um, we've got this place. Bit of a shithole. This place. Oh, this place is pretty lush. Look, ocean worlds. Got jungle world. We should go there. Yeah, let's go over there. Is on the border of Klingon space. Well, that will that will probably turn this into like a disputed zone. This will turn into like a neutral zone instead so of being Klingon space. We want to move our space. fleet to Syok Tantis. Well, he's got five ships here, so I think we want to defend our outpost for the moment. Um, oh no! Force will engage hostile vessels. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the troop transports out. Is he get well, what if he moves people to Syok Tantis? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, well, we've got four turns until the colony ship even gets there. Okay, we'll wait then. So I guess. Oh, look, green. The Romulans are here. Oh, are they green? Are they actually like colonized worlds? Yeah, yeah. Look, they've got an M-class world here. Mm. And then, how can you see this? It's because it's, it's green. No, but how can you see it? Like, how, how have we only just noticed it? I don't know. I guess so, they just colonized them recently. 
But we haven't actually formally met them yet. Oh. So we can't talk to them. Oh, they've come for the outpost. Okay, so it's two, our two destroyers and an outpost versus his three destroyers and a scout. But all Klingon ships are armed, even their non-combatant ships. Right. So this troop transport has two iron torpedoes, three disruptors. Shit. So you can't count it out as, a, as not a threat. So we could cause a diplomatic incident here. By what? At this point, we get to choose, do we want to hail or do we want to attack? If we just open up and he's caught here by accident because he didn't know we had an outpost here... Like, we like, were. like the same thing we did. Like this will start a war. But if we hail and he just comes in guns blazing, he gets like a free free turn on us. Right. And we we could lose. Do you reckon the outpost could still beat them off? The outpost is strong, really strong. Um, I mean, look, it's got three hundred and ninety shields, one hundred and forty hull. It's like a big and mushroom. our our destroyers are. 220 shield, 60 hull. So it's I like, don't think the Federation shoots first. I think we hail them. Okay. This is so the we, way it's done. If we hail with the outpost, and then how about the destroyers uh, take evasive action? Yeah. Okay. Like, they, they, they're not going to take their chances. No, if they... All right, yeah. But we're still not firing. Okay. I think that's a good... Like, is that going to cause problems with, for them? No, it just means that, you know, our guys were careful. No, but... Yeah, sure. Because if they hail too, then it'll be it'll be over. No, they've opened fire. Oh my god! Did they just start shooting at us? Yeah, they just opened fire. But we like did some sort of maneuvers. The enemy is in retreat. So their transport fled, but the destroyers have come in on a slow approach. Okay. Um, so as we move them back to the outpost. So I'm going to get destroyed. the outpost to open fire on the destroyers. Target locked. Fire. And wind. then the destroyers. I think we just need to go in. Guns blazing. Sure. Understood. We'll charge him. Oh, hang on. oh, actually, our, st our this isn't always correct, but our outpost has scanned them and thinks they're going to do a flyby maneuver. <laughs> so the combat is a bit of a rock paper scissors. Right. Um, yeah, that's it. The charge works well against flybys. Okay. So we'll go for it. Torpedoes locked. And um, how do I? Where is the prime target locked? Fire at will. I want to change the camera so that. Um, we're not just spinning around. <laughs> Reset the camera. Ta what? Oh shit, I hit auto! Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it was auto camera, not auto- Oh shit! I've auto calced. You've auto calculated the entire battle. Yeah. They're going for the- they're going for they're the- They're going thing. for the outpost. And we're watching the flipping- We've got a dodgy camera. Come on, guys. Oh. oh my god, all three of them got destroyed at the same time. We've wiped them, yeah. But the outpost lost all its shields and got down to half health. Holy crap. Um, and the, our destroyers lost a bit of shields and lost nothing. Right, so they just went straight for the outpost, tried to take it down. Yeah, they thought they could snipe it with a charge. How does it? How do we heal it up? Uh, it does it, repairs over time. I'm okay. saying. The Klingons have declared war on the Ferengi as well. Okay. They're just going for everything. So there we go, four... Could I see in the... Uh, what do you think that stands for? The IKC, uh, something Klingon, Klingon Council. Yeah. Imperial Klingon Council. Council. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, so we've killed four ships. The victory has raised our enthusiasm. Oh, wow. The Cardassians have refused to pay us the 500 bucks. That's not su surprising. Um, and the Klingons declare war on the Ferengi. Oh, man, that was, that was close. But we did it. So it's going to heal back over time. The shields are straight up straight away, though. Yeah, the shields come straight back up, which is nice. Um, Federation ships generally have higher shields, lower hull. Okay. Um, as a rule. Task force will enter wormhole. Um, so these transports need to come back and stay right. with the station. I moved the transports out so they wouldn't get attacked, but now he's got a ship behind our lines. His ship's armed, ours aren't, so we're going to hide by the outpost. Right. Um, is that the transport that retreated? Yeah, that's his one. They go to a random adjacent square when they retreat. Right, and you can't hunt them down. Uh, you can try, but it's tricky without faster ships. Right, okay. Um, he has to move. He doesn't have to move through our territory anyway to get back, does he? All right. How's the Vulcans doing? At yeah. what point can we invite them Let's to get the Vulcans bro? in? Maybe they're going to like it that we just kick some Klingon ass. Alliance. They're pretty happy. They're enthusiastic. Should we give them another... Um, so how, how did we get membership? Should we just offer it? Well, I mean, how does it work? We just say, do you want it? And then they say yes or no. But it takes a turn to get there, and then it takes a turn for the reply to come back. 
Right. Okay. Um, so we could give them. We could say, if you join, we'll give you fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. And we could change the tone. Uh, uh, I think that one. I'm gonna go with that one. Greetings, from the United Federation of Planets. Sure. Maybe we need a little bit higher. Mm. That's all we've got. It only goes up in five hundreds. So until we get two thousand. Diplomatic messages have been received. Um, well, everyone's talking to us, and we've rebuilt our shipyard. Okay, so um, the Ferengi like us because we beat up the Klingons. Okay. So they're not. They're going to support our war. Okay. Well, although we're not at war yet, they're supporting our border skirmish. Okay. This treaty establishes our borders. Sign it. Um, that was a really good Klingon. <laughs> yeah. Do you speak any Klingon? Um, I can say, Kapla! <laughs> good. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. God, I can't even speak Kapla. a real language, let alone a, a fake one. They are icy. Mm. I mean, we hailed and everything. We, we did. first. No. I mean, we did send the, the Liberation Fleet to their their subjugated system. They didn't know that, though. No, we, as far as they're concerned, we just um, got lost. Yeah, we were just like... <laughs> Followed the sat-nav. Yeah. 